There's one comment I get quite a bit that I want to address in today's vlog. There are people that want to live the lifestyle I live. And I can't blame them. It's a great lifestyle. Uh, being outside, working with the children, growing our own food. It's amazing. Here, you think we can pull that over here? Children build these raised beds. Oh yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh. This lifestyle all starts with inspiration or desire. If you want it, you gotta want it. And so one example of wanting it, you gotta make sacrifices. Really to live this lifestyle, you sort of need to stay at home. Even if you go off to work, that's fine. Staying home in the evenings, working on the farm in the evenings, working on the farms in the weekend. Jenna, what are you gonna plant your raised beds over here, buddy? I don't know, I still got two more. They're right there! Rebecca and I barely will ever leave this farm and just about every day, we're doing something to continue the progress. Okay, happy birds, next. How are our, how are our seed starts doing? Pretty uneventful in here last night. Hey, don't go in there, Gideon. We don't need to go in there unless we have to. Okay, come on. You carrying that one, John? Yep. Now the second step, I talk about it in a previous video, is information. But one thing I left out in that video is, part of information is a guide. Whether it's books or a person, you need something or someone to guide you in this process. Every classic story has a guide. Just look at all the books I've read. And that's not all. And that's not counting the physical PDC in Australia with Jeff Lawton, the permaculture design certificate, countless webinars, uh, seminars, conferences, all kinds of stuff. Oh, and what about the big one? Where's my phone? I don't have my phone, but I've got this huge black book now from Traveling America. I have some of the best experts in the country in my phone to serve me as guides. I have pig guys, cow guys, you name it guys, or gals, to turn to if I need some help. Just yesterday, we put them in here. Look how much of this cover crop they've eaten. Just one day. Oh, look at those. Right. Not yet. Let's move them and hang on out. Grab this. Move, move, please. Nobody helped me. Good job. We only got 10. The third I in the secrets to success is idea. This is the plan. I have an overall plan for this entire farm, but I also have a day plan. But this is my secret. If there's one secret you want to take away, is get you a notebook. This is a nice moleskin notebook. You can just any use any old thing. All right, we just planted a new garden. The chickens were here. We made beds, we made raised beds on ground. Thankfully, we had rain last night. I'm wondering if we had too much. It doesn't look like it. I don't see any erosion. It seems perfect. And it's just what we needed after we planted to give these plant starts a boost. And then we look at the resources we have, including time, only have an hour for a project every day. So I try to plan that hour and jam it out as much as possible and shoot to finish as much as I can in just that little amount of time. Okay, go turn on the light in here, buddy. Do you know where the light is? Where is the light? I do will you turn on the light in there for us, please? The brooder? And then there was light. We're going to need this Thursday. We got chicks come Thursday. We need to build a wall petition here for a four by six uh, brooder area for 100 chicks. Got another hundred chicks coming pretty soon. So this is what we gotta get done today, guys. A wall with two doors built into the top part of these. We're gonna have a, you know, the wall come down there. Right here, guys, it's been bothering me a while and we need it for a project. So let's tidy this up and get going on building this brooder.
Doesn't that look much better? Doesn't like, that look like a place we can work? The fourth one is implementation. The action, the doing it. You have your plan, you gotta do it. There you go, you get that in. Drop it guys, watch your feet get in. And it's going right here. Yeah, you can step over it, look at that. Even you can step over it. You come to supervise? You come to supervise, Bear? We're gonna flip this so we So can... why are we doing two things in the middle instead of one? Because we need to get a, a door and the... We have a wall that we're gonna mount in the middle. And the door needs to be to the other side of that wall. We got our frame in all the way to the I gotta to the pop door. it. No, I have to pop Papa, it. Papa! Hold on. He won't be able to pop it. His arms aren't long enough. Hold on. He's gonna pop it. He's gonna pop it, okay? Hold that on there. In a minute. Let's go do. Let's go milk. Listen. Let's get yeah. the cows in. And then when I'm milking Flossie, y'all can come put this on. Okay. She's a very strong cow. Yes, she is. Okay, we got a stripper. Hold on, let me strip her. We got a good gallon, Jonah. Let's empty that into our let's empty that into our reservoir real quick. Now we have a reservoir. Keep milking. And if she kicks it, we're good. I got crap. Nice. What so it's for the chickens? No. Oh, he's got them for the chicks. Good deal. How's the garden planning going, Rebecca? It's going good. <laughs> you got really close. <laughs> Did you ever figure out how many, how much room we need for our acorn squash habit? Well, we're trying to figure out if we're gonna, I, I can do it if we're gonna do 30 inch beds. Her udders are absolutely stuffed full. Oh my, cow number two, she is full. Wow, they loving this green grass. Okay, let's do it. What's it like milking, Gideon? Uh. Is it like milking a goat? Is it like milking a goat? Yeah. Have you milked a goat before? No. <laughs> well, that's Phyllis. Thank you very much, Phyllis. Over two gallons, you sweet thing. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Look, your skin, you're bringing in your new hair, shedding your old hair. That's gonna, you're gonna look so beautiful. How much did Flossie officially give? She gave just under two gallons. That was her last jar. When you have this much milk, you can't just pour it into the funnel. You have to first dip it. It's working on the edit. It's almost afternoon chore time, but Beauty just realized there's a huge thunderstorm coming and we just planted carrots. And why are we why are we covering the carrots? Okay, so you have are to we... cover them because like it keep you want to keep the moisture in. Okay. And the reason we didn't cover them the other day was because Casey was worried because we were using new row covers okay. that it would repel uh, the rain. But I would be okay if it repelled some of this rain because it's supposed to be intense. I mean that might and, be it, and it might not be coming any closer. But I would hate I would hate and, to lose the carrots we have planted. We got this fence around so that the guineas won't get in here, the dog won't get in here. The mole, the what? Cats. There's a mole. There's a mole getting in there. Keep going. Feel free to change what I did here if you want to. That's totally fine. Okay. I want to get down there and finish at least that one brooder wall. You're going that way. Come on. You have to go that Why? way to tell John. Okay. Hey, John. Okay, it's chores. All right, come on, get in. I want to get the one wall up. It'll be easy enough to get the next wall up tomorrow. I tracked the chicks. They are coming Thursday. Today is Tuesday, so... It's all right. I'm, I'm, I'm surprisingly not stressed about it. I don't know. I guess it's because of chickens. It's not a new thing. Ten years of chickens. Can I get this bit done before supper? 15, 20 minutes? Let's try. Okay, you guys are here just in time. 
to see. That's one blueberry. Let's try it. Let's try it, guys. We it's probably supper time. Definitely probably supper time. Okay, hey, let's pick it up. It's chili pie. Hey, let's pick it up. Cool. Okay, hey, can I pick it up? Get in. Thank you. All right, the doors are probably gonna sling. Lift it up. That's probably a good sign. Let's get it in frame here. Oh, uh oh. Want you guys to see this? What do you mean, uh oh? See, look. But then it didn't go as planned. Guys, you can pretty much count on that happening pretty much almost all the time. Not a, 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 something is gonna mess up. Look what I mean, uh oh. What? It doesn't open. Why not? Come on. Let's try. Oh, shoot. You put that. Whoops. You put the hat on the oh, I'm supposed thing. to put hinges on this side. Yeah, that makes total sense. Look, look. Today it was putting the hinges on wrong. And I didn't finish. Okay. Well, I guess that's, I guess I that's put the hands on backwards. That's kind of this, this, this uh, yeah, All right. So what do you do at that point? You rework the plan. Tomorrow is another day. I could maybe fix that. Something happened. You gotta fix it. I'll never forget what Jeff Lawton taught me in Australia. He said, You've got a plan, you go and work it, it doesn't work out. Go get yourself some tea, don't stress out, go get yourself some tea, and just rework the plan, redraw, rethink the plan, and then have another attack at it. So that's what I did. Now this was a simple fix, and all I, uh, all, all I knew is I, I just needed to switch these hinges, and I would shift that over to tomorrow's project. It was that easy to rework that plan. Tune in tomorrow. We'll get that set up completely for the chicks. and build one more wall. Then fifth, the most important, the most why we do what we do, the thing that's gonna help us from burning out is actually enjoy the results. Take and enjoy a nice meal. Much of it provided from the farm. Make knowledge to that, acknowledge that, and enjoy it with the family or friends or foes. So for breakfast, let's count what's for off the land. Eggs from our chicken, so fresh. Probably harvested yesterday. Uh, these are Brussels sprouts, soon to be from our land. Are we gonna plant Brussels sprouts this year? I, I need to plant them in the fall. Oh, okay, so maybe next year. Because I didn't plan for it this spring. Avocados, no chance, no chance. We're in North Carolina. But we gotta have partnerships and community with but somebody, right? So let's... In the port, in the Brussels sprouts. Yep. It's pork fat. <clears throat> Those guinea hogs, we had nuts. pork chops last night. More fat than meat. But this has been a great use. Uh, Frying those up this morning and putting them with the eggs. And soon, soon the sauerkraut will be. We're gonna grow a ton of cabbage, right? Mm -hmm. To make a sauerkraut. Um, and yogurt from from our cows. Broth from our. I guess this is. This kind of tastes like a pork broth. <laughs> yeah. With smoke too. You can taste the smoke flavor. And that's breakfast. And that's so good. This when you sit down for breakfast and have a meal like that. All the struggles, it's like, that's what we do it for. This, that's why it's worth it. Mm -hmm. Cultured cream. Oh, the cultured cream, yes. Give me Can't some of that. <laughs> Cannot forget the cultured cream, which is basically cream fermented with a yogurt starter for 24 hours. And it's so good. So good. Now that's a good nugget of my lifestyle, how I'm living my life, how I'm structuring my life, how I'm able to have what I do have. And I want you guys to have that same thing. I want to be, how about this? How about I be your guide? How about I be that uncle, that food growing uncle you never had? I can do that. And inside my do-it-yourself abundance area, you can get access to me. You can get uh, online videos that I've made and made of people across this country on all kinds of things, permaculture, chickens, gardens. You can get access to, if I'm the uncle, what does that make the other of you guys? Cousins? Cousins? There's all kinds of cousins in there too in the private online Facebook group. Feed off of each other, grow together, hold each other accountable, show off, all those kinds of good things. And then, um, and for inspiration and to fuel that desire and keep it alive, I'm giving you the Great American Farm Tour right now. And spring registration for my Do It Yourself Abundance, the Great American Farm Tour for free. It's in and of itself almost the value of the membership. So guys, check that out. There's access to that at every single layer, all four layers. Do check that out. Um, I'll leave the link for that down in the description.